Picture the world as a huge ball, and you're lying on top of that ball, looking up and into space. But the world is round. Now, imagine what it would be like if you were lying on the bottom of that ball, looking down into infinity. What, you mean like upside down? Yeah, absolutely. And only gravity is holding you from falling off into the bottomlessness of forever. Can you feel it? It's sort of like an optical illusion. You've got to really believe it. <laughs> That's really weird. I feel like I'm looking down. OK. Now, you've got to look straight up. Try not to get anything else in your vision. Just sky. OK. Now, if you're really good at it, you feel like you're about to fall off the planet. Oh, my God, I just felt like I was levitating. That's so wicked. That's really weird. <laughs> what happens if I really believe it? I suppose you'll just fall off into space. <laughs> <laughs> now, really concentrate on one particular bit of sky and really think hard about it being below you instead of above you. Uncle Simon, you're up late, aren't you? Because it's lunchtime. What? Oh. Listen, something's happened. So here we are then, back home. Hi. How are you? Right, Eloise, have you got the keys? I'm not standing out here any longer. Colin, can you get my pashmina out, please? Get mine as well, will you, Colin?
Is he not coming in? He's just unpacking the Waitrose shopping. Waitrose? Yeah, I had the foresight to pick some things up at our local one after we'd come back from the Cotswolds last night. I knew no one else would think about it, so... Come on, Eloise. I just want to get somewhere there is potentially some central heating. Colin! Pashmina! Is my tooth chipped? Tell him it's fallen out. I think I did it when I was getting out of the car. Run your tongue along it. It feels a bit jagged, but... Oh, it's all right, don't worry. It's just about these TV awards. Is this that auction thing you do? Oh, you've seen it, have you? Well, no, but I, I think someone mentioned it. I don't watch daytime TV. Well, neither do I. I'm on it. Dad might have fixed that. I remember Dad saying the slamming doors were caused by the restless soul of a gamekeeper walled up in the cellar for poaching. <laughs> Dad was good at not adding to hysteria. He told me that the slamming was the house protecting itself against invaders. Hmm. When were you last here? Seven years ago. Tom's, you know. You haven't been to see Dad in seven years? When did you last see Dad? <laughs> Easy to point the finger, isn't it? I guess he was on telly. I'm having my old room. Rubbish on the telly. I love that one of me and Dad. seem to get into Dad's lab. No, only the front door key. I wonder where they are. There's a whole load of keys in a drawer over there.
getting there either. Weird, eh? No luck. None. You know where we haven't looked? Tom's room. Doesn't feel right being here. Do you think, do you think if maybe the, the will is okay that maybe I might turn this place into a, a hotel or a, a hostel, maybe an artist retreat? I'd be good at that. I've got to get this. Oh. Hi. Sorry, darling. No. No, I was just talking to, um, no, not another woman. No, Eloise, my sister. The hangar. We're not allowed in there without Dad. Well, Dad's not here to stop us from going in anymore. how grubby it is. Something feels really weird. I think Dad was low. I mean, really low. This magazine says 2004. 2004, that was the last time I was here. Me too. And me. Why would he stop flying the plane? It, it doesn't make any sense. Poor old Tom. Old. He was 22. He died. You don't get much older than that. It should have been me that died. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, let's get inside. Don't be ridiculous. Wait, we need to talk about this. Not in here, I'm freezing. Look, Dad clearly hasn't set foot in here for years. Let's get inside quickly. I don't get it. Well, fine, we'll leave you here then. <gasps> Wait. Wait! What now? You and me in the tree. She called you out. You have to go to the tree. It's the rules. It doesn't get any smaller. Why would it? Well, you know, when you get older, Things that were big as a kid. Oh, it was magical, wasn't it? It's just a place to go away from the house. It was a special day. Look how magic this place was. How could you all leave? Hang on. You left too? Yeah, but I was 17. I didn't have a clue what was going on. All I knew is that Mum had left and Dad was going mad. Hey, don't pass any blame onto us. Oh, guys, please don't argue. Because we were older, we could see what was going on and had to deal with it. Where too. were you all when everything was going wrong? I had to work my career. Your sparkling career, selling tat to dribbling imbeciles whose biggest decision in life is to when to switch over to Jeremy Bastard Kyle. Uh, I'm not on the same time as Jeremy. Oh, I'm not putting up with this. Me neither. This is why we left. We're actually on holiday right now. Some holiday? Well, I think that... Colin, 
When she wants your opinion, she'll give it to you, okay? I'm sorry, but Dad's gone. We're all busy. We need to clear the house, sell it and move on. You can't sell the house. It's Dad's life. It's our life. What happened seven years ago destroyed this family. This can never, ever be our home. It's the only thing that's going to keep us together. Otherwise, what is it? An email every six months? If that? Come on. I've got to pack up. I could uh, get some from my show to uh, take a look at everything. See if anything has any value. You are such a knob. What are the practicalities of what you're suggesting? Well, I can call knickknacks and we can get the good stuff taken to the studio. It'll all have to be audited and itemised. Look, no, guys, guys. Look, you've all got loads of stuff. Look, I, I don't have any stuff. I've got this bed and, and a weird armchair that smells. So we can't, can't just, just let, let strangers, strangers come, come in here and, and take all our stuff, stuff away. away. Fine, OK, you can just cherry pick the stuff you want then. I mean, this could be worth millions. Suki? The way the market is at the moment, I think it's worth two mil. But then we're going to get stung for a hell of a lot of inheritance tax. Vultures. 500 grand each. Look, we can't sell the house. Dad wouldn't want us to do that. What are you expecting us to do? Open it up as a stately home? A mausoleum to a mad professor? Please don't talk about Dad like that. You can't realistically think of keeping it on. It's going to take staff to run it and look after that massive garden, so you're just living in la-la land. No! Now, you promised you wouldn't say that. Look, I'm not a child anymore, so don't treat me like one. Girls, I'm... girls. Let's have a really good look around the place first and see what there is. Are we going to go together or separately? Together. Fine. I'm Rupert Dedlock from Dedlock and Roberts. I've come to talk about Mr. Jones's estate. I spoke to Mr. Simon Jones. Oh, Uncle Simon. Daughter, this is Colin, my husband. Hello, everyone. Now, you may or may not know that your father did leave a will, and now that the police are satisfied that there was no foul play, we can. What do you proceed. mean, no foul play? The uh, verdict was death by misadventure. He electrocuted himself. You didn't... You didn't know that. We didn't even get to go to the funeral. Uncle Simon took so bloody long to tell us. Funeral? There hasn't been a funeral. The body is still at the mortuary. Please, just get on with the will. We can sort the rest of this mess out later. Now, your father, uh, Mr. Jeremy Jones. Mr. James Jones, had planned to leave the house to all the children to be divided equally. But your father was conducting some very expensive research these last seven years. The bank bailed him out several times, but it had to stop. I'm sorry. The bank owns the house. He defaulted on several loan repayments. Loans? Dad never borrowed money. 
He was £200,000 behind with the loan repayments. Well, I think the plan is demolish the house. There's a property developer. Had his eye on the area for quite a while now. Building a shopping arcade or something. Well, we have to get our money back somehow. You've got a few days to vacate and uh, demolition. Uh, demolition commences on the 11th. Get out. Get I can out just the of my house! <laughs> just sod the hell <laughs> You'll regret that. I've had you up for assault. This is a new suit. Oh. You vulture! God, he really messed up, didn't he? How could he have spent 200k? We have to get into Dad's lap. Morning. Hello. Bloody long drive you got here. Can I help you? Could you uh, sign for this, please? Okay. And uh, with your name this time. This heavy one, sign again, please. Look, how many more of these things are there? Actually, another bloody lot Whoops. more like here. Ow! Sign. <sighs> Thank you. Have a nice day. never been so embarrassed when I thought I had the earrings that Jordan had at the Nuts TV launch, and it turned out to be the ones that Dawn French had at the Everton launch. I was a flipping laughing stock. Just an unfortunate mishap, darling. <clears throat> yeah, well, it better not happen again. 
Buck said that he could get me Kylie's tiara from the... Yeah, well, I'm sure Buck can do a lot of things. But I've got the necklace you wanted. OK, good. See you tomorrow. I saw Tom. Tom? What did he look like? Well, you know, like Tom. Tom then or Tom now? That's a stupid question. Tom then, alive Tom. Only he was all... A what? Well, a focus. Blurry. I, I couldn't really see him properly. He... Well, he walked like Tom. Are you OK, Jos? You look a tad peaky. Just had a bit of a shock, that's all. Electric? No, he, he just thought he saw someone in the garden. They're using the sodding key for Dad's lap. What's this clan meeting for? Thought I saw someone. Looked like Tom. I don't think this is funny. I'm not trying to be funny. Just the house stirring up memories. Why do you have to be so logical? Because without logical people, the world wouldn't function. This family wouldn't function. This family doesn't function. It could have been a ghost. Tom's ghost. No more talk of ghosts and poor old Tom. I don't like it. Oh, forget it. I've got to make some calls. I'm going to look for the key. See what else I can find. I mean, Tom and Mum and now Dad. I mean, if someone doesn't make any bloody decisions, then what? It's OK, Sue. No, it's always worry. been me, the sensible one, sorting everything out, never having any fun. Well, maybe we can have a nice few days here, say goodbye to your dad. Oh, this house, this wretched house, it just makes me feel like I'm a failure. It's OK. Honey. No, no, Eloise has failed in love and work and, well, everything. Yoss will never be the TV god he so wants, and Mum died, and Dad died, and Tom, my little brother, he, he failed to have an existence, and I failed to have a family. Sweet. Jesus, what a bunch of failures we've turned out to be. It's supposed to be a bloody holiday. It's so typical of Dad, he's bloody selfish. Even after death, his stupid inventions buggering everything up. It was his inventions that bought the house in the first place. For God's sake, Colin! You're as bad as Eloise! Come on, then. Go and check the pantry. I can't do it on my own.
What are we going to do with all this stuff, Colin? eBay. <sighs> Not helpful, Cole. I actually don't want to get rid of it. Hmm. Most of this stuff is rubbish. I keep it. Memories? This was Mum's. I don't know. I just feel like the more I throw away, the more I'll forget. Maybe it's better to forget. Forget the bad things. Move on. Yoss and Suki, they've, they've got all these memories, all this life. And all I've got is all this stuff. And that's not for much longer. It's just... It's just not how it should end. It isn't the end. You get to choose when the chapter ends. Do you want a hand with anything? Yeah, actually. Uh, can you take this chair down to the hall for me? Careful, though, I think it might be antique. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't mean of any value. I just mean it's old. I think I've seen one of these on the show. I like it. It's going to be my reading chair. Yeah, well, um, I think I might like to leave this here, you know, if, if, if it doesn't fit in the van, perhaps. Do you want it? Well, it's something I could... Uh... Do you want it? Well, if it doesn't fit in the Do van. you want it? Yes, I would quite like it, yes. What for? We've, uh, we're doing a chair week on uh, knickknacks. <gasps> chair week? But I want it. And I do not want to hear about your weird, sordid chair week. I actually want to sit on it. Well, could I just borrow it and bring it back after no! the show? No! You said you didn't want any of this chuffing tat. So I'm having it. Sorry, I'd better get this. Remember that one? What did you put the phone down on me? <gasps> Do you remember this CD? You want to come over here? I remember that one. Do you remember this call? Yes, I do. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, can you just give us a bit of time? That was my favourite song. Let it go. Like, do you remember the words? <gasps> the words. Um, I used to play this all the time. Even in my sleep, I used to remember this classic. Da, 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 da. The bravest animals in this land. Well, Captain Beaky and, and his band. band. There's Timmy Toad. Toad. Uh, Reckless, Reckless Rat. rat. Oh. Artful Owl and Artful Batty Owl. Bat. God, he said nightmares about hissing Sid. What's the noise? Just singing. Remember this? We used to play it all the time. Oh, it was so annoying. You did. <clears throat> I'm going to get a CD from the car. Hello? I say hello? Hello? That's what I found. father was working on. Come on, it was probably some new type of milk container or maybe sellotape that doesn't tear your lip off when you try and bite it in two. Well, I don't like it. It gives me the willies. Oh my God. Look. I 
Privateer. It's, uh, it's all plugged in. Oh, look, it's Dad. Password, please. Password. Any ideas? Snowy. Snowy? Yeah, Tintin and Snowy. Does it have a number then? Oh, um, Snowy Three is number three. Thank you. Huh. Where did you know that? Was it just your dad? Huh. It says there's a component missing. What does it look like? How the hell should I know you know? Look, I've got to keep an eye on the dinner. Let me know if you see anything interesting. What were you doing at the special tree? I saw a man. Suki, what do you mean you saw a man? There was a man. It was weird. He... He looked sort of... out of focus. Thought I'd leave Al to get on with it. You all right, Cole? Look like you've seen a ghost. Well done. Very well done. What did I do? Colin's got a bit of a problem with the paranormal. The paranormal? Yeah, there was an incident at college. It upset him. Oh, yeah. Well, I like the sound of an incident. Oh, God, if you could get your mind out of the gutter for just one second, it would make all our lives so much better. I'm hurt by that remark. Anyway, tell me of this incident. I'm at college. Colin tried to make a bit of money by faking some ghost photos. Well, like, what, like Darren Brown, fraudulent mediums and all that bollocks? Sort of. He and a friend did it, and they made a bit of money. Only Colin thought his mate Carl was doing the photos. But he wasn't. Oh, sorry, I don't follow you. Carl wasn't making the pictures. Colin was. Carl was making the pictures? Yes without knowing it. When he found out, he had a bit of a panic attack, and... now he thinks he's a psychic photographer. <laughs> Colin, our Cole, psychic. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have told you. Look, he gets upset about it. Why is he always taking photos, then? He won't take photos of people, only things. Oh, that's brilliant. Just when you think you've worked somebody out. Look, if you ever tell Colin that I told you, I will cut your balls off. Do you ever stop drinking tea? No. But I stop smoking. Why can't you be nice? Because if you're nice, you can't be strong. Strong? You're a TV presenter. Do you think I'd have been able to do all the things I've done if I wasn't strong? When you left, 
It was unbearable. And you don't think I've had to be strong? And I still managed to be nice. Nice is overrated. At least I've got a job. Nice work. I don't think it's a computer that needs sorting out, Al. There's a lot to sort out up here. And can you imagine what it must have been like for Dad? Life's about choices. You've got to use your life, do things, be alive. Dad's death might mean a new start for you. Dinner's ready. <sighs> Look, Elle, I'm sorry. Suki's made an effort. So should you. And not sit up here being miserable. Maybe I like being miserable. Maybe I like being on my own. Finish your tea, come on. There. It's finished. I don't know why you're so angry with us. We've all been through the same thing. No, we haven't. You all got to spend much more time with Mum and Dad than I did. Who looked after me when Mum left? No one. You gone, Suki was leaving. It was me that got to see Dad disintegrate after he killed Tom. No one was here. Eloise. Eloise. What? What can you say? What can you possibly say that can make anything better? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I have no place in this universe. I have no useful function. I am utterly without use. Six billion people in this universe and not one of them. Not one. Want me to do anything. Have you asked every single one? Smells nice. It's just savoury mince, keeping it simple. You're not vegetarian at the moment, are you, Eloise? Well, as we're all here, in this house, I propose a toast. To Mum. To Dad. To dead Tom. I do wish you wouldn't say that. Don't call him dead Tom, okay? Poor Tom, then. That's better. Much better. To Paul Tom. Tom. <coughs> what? Means I liked it. Should be pleased. Someone's out there. until he goes away. Haven't seen you since our wedding. Is it that long? Don't you remember shagging my bridesmaid? Suki, I am deeply hurt. That was an accident. Come on, be nice. I bought chocolates and booze. Yes, yeah. sir. My 
little tosser. <laughs> oh, lovely. What have we got here? Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yum, yum. Pig's bum. Thank you. To my brother James. To dad. Oh, very nice. Mm. So, uh, where have you been anyway, Simon? Uh, been travelling. A lot of work overseas. Oh, yeah? Like where? Well, I went to Paris, which was beautiful. Amsterdam, which was beautiful. Munich, which was beautiful. Warsaw, which was depressing. You like Warsaw. Uh -huh. Very funny. And now I'm back, just like you. And the house needs saucy. Forty years of... Secrets here. Maybe you and me tomorrow we could relive the old times, you yeah? know? Go back up the uh, special tree. Why is it the special tree anyway? I mean, there's hundreds. Because Dad put a seat in it and we could see the house and not be seen from the house. No, that's not why it's the special tree because when you're in the tree, you feel something special. Something... something magic. The first time that I went up there, I felt this thing brush against my face. It was sort of like a, a butterfly wing, but, but bigger. Oh, what, like a leaf on a branch? No, like a butterfly wing, but bigger. And then I saw something and it was sort of small and, and quite and quite squirrely. What, like a squirrel? No, not like a squirrel. I saw so I really thought I saw something. What? Well, at the end of the story, I mean, you really thought you saw something? No, because I'm not going to tell you the rest of the story because Suki's just going to ruin it. Well, I want to hear more about the tree. The special tree. Eh? Carry on, Elle. OK. Well, when I told Dad about the butterfly wing against my face, he built me a fairy trap. Oh, it was such a load of old nonsense. Jealousy? Hardly. I mean, she was about ten. Yes, I was ten, thank you. But, I mean, come on. Why anything, then? Why Father Christmas? What, why the Tooth Fairy? Why eat ice cream? Why don't you sit in the dark, eating bread and butter and banging your head against a brick wall? You're just being obtuse. Why even imagine anything? Why read a book? Why just burn all the books? Ding, ding, round two. Ten is far too old for a fairy trap. Dad knew that, and there's no such thing as fairies. One just died. Well, I believed him, then. He made me a fairy trap because he knew that I wanted one. He could have got me something like a Barbie, which was real, but rubbish. He got, made me something I would want. Well, you and he got on better than me and he. Oh, me and he? What's with the grammar? Oh, sorry, sword and off. Ladies. That's just typical of Dad. Liv living in a fantasy world populated by fairies. It's just building up hopes and dreams when ultimately they're going to be dashed. I'm not a sodding schizophrenic. Unless you're really mentally disturbed, you get over that stuff. So, what happened to the fairy trap? Well, I thought I'd set it really late at night before I went to bed. And one day, Tom and I woke up and we went down to the fairy trap and... And there was a fairy trapped in the trap and Dad set her free. I remember seeing her fly off. It was amazing. Well, I never saw anything like that. Well, maybe you were too busy not believing in the unbelievable. I only went up the tree to get away from you lot. You spoil the tree, Miss Sour Face. You 
loved you. You know. Killed him when Tom died. Killed him even more when each one of you left. Do you know what he was working on? No. But it was complicated and expensive. Something... Something... Something what? Something bad. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Some of those components cost a fortune. He keeps talking about crossing the void and jumping space-time and stuff like that. Oh, that was into all kinds of stuff. Space travel, parallel universes, time travel, alternative dimensions. Time travel? You don't think... No. Dad was working on a time machine. To go back and save Tom before... Before he killed him. <laughs> That's just stupid. I mean, listen to yourselves. Time travel? You've been watching too much Doctor Who. I quite like the new Doctor. What do you think? Well, well it's all right. So Tom Baker is the best. Oh, you have to admit, Tennant, Tennant was excellent. Yeah, I really loved the gay Dalek episode. Dad wasn't working on a time machine. What? He wasn't working on a time machine, it says here. He was working on a machine to get to the dead world. He was trying to find out where you go when you die. He was trying to get to the afterlife. Trick or treat. What? Trick or treat. But it isn't even Halloween. It's not Halloween. Mum said we can't go out dressed like this on Halloween. I know it isn't Halloween. So we're dressed like this, OK? Well, we haven't got any sweets. Oh. It's OK. Telly? Oh, yes. My gran likes you. Sort of, you little shits. What was that? Nothing, just a. just a fan. So, who was it? It was the Grim Reaper. That's not important. What have you got there? Component 63702. I think this is the missing part for Dad's computer. Don't know what the hell it is, but it does have a USB. Study for any other notebooks. You can have a look at the books over there, and Suki, put the kettle on. Look at this. How's it going? Ah! Oh, 
That's no way to talk to your granddad, is it? I wouldn't do that if I was you. I do warn you. He never did get it earthed properly. I did tell him. I... are you really... Yes, darling, it's me. But... you... Go on. Say it. No. I'm dead, I know. Your dad was a very clever man. What... What did Dad do? Your dad invented a machine for speaking to the dead. He wanted to talk to Tom to say sorry. Bloody hell. Those little trick-or-treaters have slashed Uncle Simon's tires. He's out there now with Colin. They're not happy. Suki, you need to see this. And? Well, well, I thought Dad was working on some sort of time machine, and like, well, we discussed it supper, and and I thought maybe he was going a little bit mental, and I was looking at everything, and it was so confusing, and then, and then I looked at this bell jar. It looks like a lava lamp to me. And no, that is a lava lamp. This is a beacon. Oh. And Granddad's face appeared out of nowhere. Right, well, you've got something serious to say. Oh, for one second, open your tiny mind! I thought you were actually going to say something important, but oh. now you're talking bollocks. She's telling the truth. Oh, oh, it's typical of you two ganging up on me, trying to make me look stupid. Dad made a machine for talking to the dead. Nonsense. Look, I was sitting here, and, and, and I pressed this button, and touched this, and then a spark flew. And Grandad was talking to me, and he was like, oh, hey, Eloise, how's it going? Grandad never spoke like that. <sighs> Maybe not to you. He always spoke to me like that. It's got to be a special effect. I mean, Dad's just transferred some old cine films and made it into a little screen or something. <gasps> Dad never filmed Grandad. I mean, it's just like a mini IMAX. An IMAX? Yeah, I mean, it's a circular thing. In a jar. An IMAX in a jar. Yeah, easily. I, mean, I don't understand how whizzy whizzy things go up in the sky and land down in a mobile phone, but why then? Why can't it be something like that? Or, or a living will thing? Why don't you just show up? Turn it on. What's it? It's just a screen. I swear to you, I'm telling the truth because it scared me to death. See? That's amazing! <laughs> it's a little mini cine film with Grandad. Hello, you lot. Oh, my God! God, it's wonderful, wonderful to, to see all four of you again. again. And, and Suki, so love. Kids, Kids yet? yet? Any great-grandchildren? No, no, I not should yet. know about that. I've been thinking about it, but we... Jesus, I'm talking to a jar. Eloise. Any, Any boys I should know about? That's a long story, Grandad. Maybe we could have a, a drink and a smoke together. I, I haven't had a cigarette in years. Oh, I, I could give you some. I've got some back in my room. Stop. That's ridiculous. You can't talk back to him and give him things. He's a bloody hologram or something. I my God, it's nice, nice to talk to him. Being dead is hellish. Suki, he's talking to us. It's a, it's a recording. That's a nice scarf you've got on, Suki. Oh, Jesus Christ! That colour really goes with your jumper. No, I... Well, he hasn't I, lost his sense of humour. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Is she always like Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What the hell did you do that for? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Get him back. Get him back.
Now, I don't think we should mention this to Simon or Colin. Okay. You're the little bastards. What's wrong with the lights? Blue the fuse. I'll fix them. Yes, you do that. I'll do that. Colin will do that. I'll do that then. Something weird, though. Mum's bracelet. All the diamonds are gone. Uh, maybe your dad was using the diamonds in his machine. Weird and weirder. I remember Dad reading this to me in this chair. I remember he used to tell me about all the amazing things we were going to do together in my life. Like what? Oh, like climb a mountain, ride a horse along a beach. <laughs> you know, stay on a sailship, that sort of thing. And you know what, though? What? Never did do any of them. Oh, come on! Ha <laughs> ha! Me to come. I didn't ask you to come. Then you won't be sorry, then, will you? <laughs> Where are we going then, anyway? You'll see. Soon enough. I've been thinking about Mum. I've been thinking it's okay to miss her now. You mean to forgive her? Think of her as Mum again. Just want to remember the fun stuff. Hmm. Like the pond incident. Did you hear that? Hear what? Sounded like Dad. Dad! Dad, where are you? You're scaring me now, stop it!
What are you doing? Jesus. <laughs> Eloise. <laughs> you scared me. What are you doing? Ah, oh, I couldn't sleep. Just, uh, just looking around. What are you doing with Dad's stuff? He was my brother. I miss him too. He borrowed a lot of money from me. I just wanted to find out what he spent it on. Well, I've been going through all the files. It shouldn't take me more than a day or two to figure out what's been going on. You know, it's the little battlefields that leave the biggest scars. Misunderstandings. Like your father killing your brother? Yeah. I know what you mean. Night, niece. Night, uncle. Hi, I'm Sally Sneed, and I'm here with best daytime TV presenter nominee, Yesarian Jones. Hello, Sally. Now, the viewers at home have one burning question to ask. Yes? What will Donna be wearing to the awards? God. And uh, where does your funny name come from? My funny name comes from Catch-22. Morning, sleepyhead. Where is everyone? Gone to inspect the special tree. Who's in it? What? Well, why are you named after a book? I'm not named after the book. Uh, my grandfather, Jeremiah Jones, was a pilot. And my dad... Thank you so much. I, uh, I had a weird dream last night. Do you mind? I'm trying to watch the end of this programme. I know the girl in it. Oh, excuse me, I'm sure. Wouldn't want to interrupt your precious programming. I'll just stand here and not... No, I shan't make another sound. Okay, so I should just stand here in complete silence. Then you shan't hear another peep out of me. My lips are sealed. Sarah doesn't want those lights on that little problem. Oh, I see, I see. Fighting children. I should stay here. Perfectly still. Shan't say another word. Best of luck to him. The best of luck. Good luck. Fuck. It rhymes. I know. <laughs> It's just that last night we discovered a telephone that could talk to the dead. I think it might be rather important. Or it could make us a really, really lot of money. Let's go check it out. Can't you get him back? Yeah, who back? Uh, Elvis. Elvis! It's radio. Dad built it. We've, we've just got it working again. Can't hurt Elvis. And her Elvis. But it doesn't matter now because Suki broke it, so it's buggered. <sighs> Elvis. Hmm. You know, I might have a better idea what your dad was working on than you have. <laughs> we should all pool our ideas and see what we come up with. Hmm? Now, what does that do? That, well, um, that, I, um, well, I don't know. Look, I know your dad was using diamonds as capacitors. I know crystalline synthetic diamond has the highest thermal conductivity of any known solid at room temperature. How do you know that? Your dad told me. I thought diamonds were forever. Diamonds are definitely not forever, Shirley Bassett. <laughs> I know your dad was, was pissing his money away, but I didn't know he was doing it on such a grand scale. And even using your mum's jewellery. <laughs> Unc, mm. why don't you go and grab yourself a box and help yourself to anything you like? Hmm? We're going to be ages on this. 
Really? Just... <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> We need a diamond to get the machine working again. Suki's engagement ring. Suki's engagement ring. Absolutely not. No way. Look, it won't get ruined. We just need to borrow it. This is ridiculous. Talking to spirits. We can't find out if it really was Grandad because, because you broke the machine. <laughs> if it was Grandad. Grandad said it was nice to see all four of us. It, it, it wasn't Grandad. When it comes to psychic stuff, I think it's all utter bollocks. But even I think something very weird is going on. Yes, thank you, Yoss. Grandad said four of us. I assumed he meant Colin. But Colin wasn't in the room. There was one, me. And me, that's two. And of course me, three. And me, four. So that's three. Hello, and me, four. Okay, we're leaving right now. Colin, what's wrong? Are you coming or not? Colin? Yes or no? Colin! Yes or no? Sorry, Colin, I'd have to pack. Well, there's a Waitrose shopping and... Fuck Waitrose! I'm leaving now! Colin! spirit there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one of me. It's Tom. I want to see some colour in my cheeks instead of maggots. He's here. With us now. I have been trying to tell you guys. I see live people. They're everywhere. Suki. Suki. You need to speak to Grandad again. We need to find out what the hell Dad did to Tom. He made a machine. It sucked my soul from the dead world and trapped it here and sucked his soul into the dead world. It's quite simple, really. Come on. You too. It's your slutty girlfriend. <laughs> Hi, sexy. I'm Donna with two N's. Hi, I'm Paul with two P's. Oh, Suki, don't be like that. Oh, it's okay. Lots of girls are jealous of me until they get to know me. Fancy a drink, darling? Gasping for a Coke Zero. Trying to get that picture off the wall and the bloody thing fell at my head. I 
was looking for something, you know, keep the swelling down. All I could find was this frozen hot cross bun. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm Simon, but you can call me Si. <laughs> um, could you help me? I don't know. This thing, it, it stuck on my head. Not you, you pillock. Come here, I'll sort you out. Thank you. Mm. What's bitten her? I don't think she wants me to go. Well, it's not really any of her business, is it? Ooh. Yeah, ooh, that's... that's... Oh, she, was, she was a bedwetter. <laughs> Do you think it, if I take a picture, that Tom will be there? Tom, if you're here, will you let us know? I'd love to, Val. late. Yeah, I've got some, uh, some stuff to do. What stuff? Well, you know, family stuff. Family stuff? Babe, we've been planning this for months. It's going to be sodding amazing. I know, but I... What about that dress you bought me? I couldn't get the dress. What? I couldn't get the dress. Liz Hurley was wearing it. Oh, my God. 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 There'll be other award programmes. What? for daytime TV presenters. I don't think so, honey. Come on, this was meant to be our romantic night together. Just the two of us on TV. We can watch it on TV here. OK, please don't ever speak to me like that ever again. OK, so you're having a spaz moment, so I'm going to give you half an hour to calm down, yeah? Then we are going to these sodding awards. How important are you and I? You're getting all... All what? You know, I thought we were going out on the town, getting in magazines, having loads of fun. It is fun, isn't it? It is fun, yeah, but I'm sure there's room for other things. You mean you want me to have kids and be fat? Well, not fat particularly. You mean you want to ruin my career before it's even started? You are so frigging selfish. Oh. No! This was supposed to be our night to finally get the sodding exposure we've been dreaming of our whole lives. Don't pretend this doesn't mean stuff to you. Come on. What? You're giving me the Gucci glasses? Serious? Sweet. <laughs> I give you half an hour, right, babe? This the connection, connection feels a bit weak. weak. But we've put a new diamond in. I don't think it's a very good one. Look, Grandad. We know Tom's here. He was ghost anyway. Yeah. I was I going to tell you, you, but someone, someone unplugged, unplugged me. You. Your father was trying to find Tom's soul. So he could say sorry. But it went wrong. Your dad's machine broke. It sucked, sucked his soul, soul into, into the, the dead, dead world, killing him. him. And sucked Tom into this world, like an exchange. When your dad found me, I thought he'd been looking for me. But no. 
is just a wrong number. A wrong, wrong number. number. Missing digit in the celestial DNA frigging dialing code. Being here is, is unimaginable. I don't want to be here. So now we need to get your dad's soul out of here. Send both Tom and your dad off to paradise. Or dad will be stuck here forever. Tom will wander the earth as the lost soul for all eternity. Prove you're my granddad. You buried Snowy. By a special, special tree. tree. I have. Can we speak to Dad? No, it's, it's not, not tuned in for him. It's tuned. What about God? What's, What's God, God got to, to do with it? Uh, your dad. Have you met God yet? Seems like a popular thing for dead people to want to do. I'm in a different place, darling. You need to get a move on and get your dad and Tom to meet up with your mum. Oh, why are you there? Why aren't you in heaven? Because I killed your mum. What are you talking about? She took an overdose. It was depression. Yes, but who gave her pills? She was so sad. I thought I was... Helping me, but it did. It seemed to work out that way. He said we were running out of time. Once, Once the machine is taken apart, no one will ever be able to get it working again. If you don't get Dad and Tom to heaven with Mom now, they will be lost in darkness. But why is Tom there? He hasn't done anything wrong. Dad's stupid machine sent Tom to the wrong place. How do you know that? It's all in here. The connections going. What do we need to do? Find, find a decent dam, find a program. out of the dead world. I can help. What? I want to show you something. Diamonds, the Donna to wear for the awards. I'm gonna put the kettle on. They hung up. Who? Taxi. Got to go now. I thought you were going with yours. Uh, he's not coming. I'm just gonna go. Why would you go on your own? Um, it's his award. He said he's wanted to do family stuff, like there was something to sort out or something. What's that in your bag? What? Let me see. So, Eloise, you seen anyone? Um, no. He couldn't get his act together. Boys, huh? Wanting the fun, but not the commitment. What does Yossi in you? Pardon? 
Well, generally he goes for hot girls. Dim, granted, but hot. You're not really his type. He doesn't generally go for cheap looking slags. Excuse me? Oh, I said slag. You better shut your mouth. Well, that's what you are, isn't it? Cheap looking little dirty slag who needs to sleep away to the top because she has no discernible talent of her own. You take it back. No! <laughs> to the awards and I am taking the diamonds. Don't be stupid. Dad and Tom are eternally bollocks, then. Good. Now, find, find out, out which, which program, program it needs. To to run run it. It. How do we do that? You've, You've got, got to, to reach you, you, the beacon, beacon to your dad. He, he tried, tried to get, get to Tom, Tom but, but got, got me. It didn't, didn't work. work. Not, Not enough, enough power. power. Takes, Takes a huge amount of power to swap, to swap a soul, soul from another, another dimension. dimension. Feel that? 
It's like my ears are popped. My headache's gone. I think Tom's gone too. Bugger. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. And now we're Sally Sneed at the Daytime TV Presenters Awards. Sally, what's happening down there? I'm on the red carpet. Let's see who you can speak to. We've got here Kazarian's girlfriend, Donna. Hi, Donna. Yes, we are. Oh, hello, hello, oh, Sally. Hey. Like you've had a bit of an accident. You've been are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> so you're not here with Kazarian? Oh, oh, sorry, excuse me. What? Hi, Bob. Sally Sneed, hey, MGP. Uh, you look absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. I didn't tell me you're bringing a lovely lady. Who's the beautiful woman? It's my girlfriend, Victoria. Hi, I'm Victoria. I love your work. You look fantastic. Oh. A cheeky question, are those diamonds? Yes, yes these yeah. are diamonds. Yes. Listen to me. Hey, girls, can we calm down here? Shut up, this is my moment. You fuck her off. Um, wait. Hey. Hey. wait a minute. Oh. 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 Hi, I'm Victoria. Got Darrington's girlfriend. He's going to win tonight. It's my girl. Get off me! Your hands off me! No! Okay. This is my night! No! Okay, let's go. No! I'll call you! Okay, okay, so back to Keith and lovely Linda for your awards. Oh, uh, thank you, Sally. Uh, welcome one and all to the Daytime Television Awards. It's absolutely great to be here. <laughs> anyway, let's get the nominees for Best Daytime presenter and those nominees are Buck Darrenson for Good Morning London Roger Laszlo Smith for Breakfast with Roger and Eusarian Jones for Knickknacks TV What's the raincoat? I'm the black belt. Right. Here's the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner is. Uh, the opera, please, Linda. Uh, the winner is. Roger Laszlo Smith for Breakfast with Roger. Hope you come, Roger. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody, please. I was going to win, but otherwise I wouldn't have had so much to drink. Daytime television is rubbish. People shouldn't watch telly for breakfast. They should read the paper or listen to the radio or do something sensible. So, if you're watching this, then don't watch breakfast telly. But if you're watching this and you're watching me, please give me a job. It was a rubbish award anyway. And no one will notice that three diamonds were missing? And they were insured. No one will question what happened when there were three million witnesses. How much did that bastard solicitor Deadlock tell us Dad owed? Two hundred grand.
Dad? How you doing, Dad? Come on, hop on. It's time to get going. Where are we going? Paradise. Paradise. Sure, you'll like it there. Yeah. What's it like then, this paradise of yours? They say it's all right. Everybody's happy there all the time, or at least to the end of the universe. Mum's there. She's waiting for you. Mum's there? Yeah. Can't wait to see you. 